Austria is back under lockdown. This is the fourth time the country has closed all but the essentials. People here are being asked to stay at home if they can, as coronavirus cases surge to their highest peak of the pandemic yet. Deaths are also up and hospitals are under pressure. The strict measures taking effect Monday and it could last up to 20 days. Austria is the first country in Western Europe to reimpose a national lockdown since vaccines rolled out. And it has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the region, with about 66% of Austrians immunized. Starting in February, the country will be making vaccinations mandatory. Pushback to the COVID policies with protests erupting over the weekend. Demonstrations also held in a number of other European nations, including the Netherlands, where infections are surging and rules are returning. The Dutch Prime Minister lashing out at what he calls the idiots behind three nights of rioting. What we saw this weekend, seen, have... what we saw this weekend, he says, was pure violence disguised as a protest. More than 100 people were arrested. The Netherlands is under a three-week nationwide partial lockdown. Now, the WHO has said Europe is the current epicenter of the pandemic. And expect to hear more soon about new restrictions coming to Germany. And here's why. Have a look at this. The spike in infections is by far the worst the country has experienced up until now. And hospitals are filling up. And there's a dire warning coming from the country's health minister, who says by the end of winter, everyone in Germany will be vaccinated, recovered or dead. Melissa Duggan, City News.